If you're looking for a step-by-step -step overview of the laboratory accreditation process, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll delve into each of these steps, providing you with clarity and insights to ensure your path to accreditation is a smooth one. Now, let's dive into step one, the application process. To begin your journey, your organization must submit a properly drafted application. For this step, you want to identify your company profile, your chosen standard, and the conformity assessment activities you want to be accredited for. For example, tests, calibrations, or inspections. A project manager will be assigned to your account to assist and offer guidance about the accreditation process. You will also be offered a pre-assessment, which is optional but valuable to assisting you with preparing for the official accreditation assessment. Upon receipt of a completed application, an agreement for services will be drafted. Upon execution of the agreement, a pending letter of accreditation will be provided to you to show your customers you are committed to becoming accredited. We recommend all clients, new and existing, subscribe on our website for updates, free training, and access to valuable resources for your assessment process. Moving on to step two, the preliminary assessment process. After choosing PJLA as your accreditation service provider, your application paperwork goes to an accreditation program assistant. They will reconfirm your assessment timelines, provide a pending letter of accreditation, and request any additional details needed to complete your applicant's scope. The scope undergoes a thorough review by program managers to ensure it aligns with our criteria before assigning an assessor. Once assessment dates are confirmed, you'll receive a schedule confirmation letter and a list of documents to submit 30 days prior to your on-site assessment. This review allows the assessor to prepare your assessment and ask any questions regarding your laboratory system documentation. Our assessors will contact you 14 days before the assessment to discuss assessment plan details such as timing, staff availability, and safety requirements. Step 3. The On-Site Assessment The on-site assessment is a critical stage in your journey. The assessment kicks off with an opening meeting to reconfirm the assessment plan, scope of accreditation, and what to expect during the assessor's visit. The assessment will focus on a review of your quality management system, as well as the witnessing of tests, calibrations, inspections, and more. This process will also include discussions with specific technicians regarding their ability to demonstrate various competencies when performing specific tests, calibrations, inspections, and other relevant activities. Your lab's records such as proficiency testing results, uncertainty budgets, tests or calibration reports, reference materials, and equipment calibration are also reviewed at this step. For step four, a closing meeting will be held following the completion of the assessment. This will include the acknowledgement of any non-conformities or observations detected during the assessment and a final report. Assessors will confirm your understanding of the findings and provide you instruction on corrective action timelines and submission requirements. Corrective action is required to be submitted 60 days from the last day of the assessment but we encourage organizations to submit earlier than 60 days to allow assessors to complete a thorough review and ask questions as needed. Assessors will also request that the organization confirms the scope of accreditation in the case that changes occurred during the assessment. Upon approval of your corrective actions, the final assessment material will be sent to PGLA headquarters to be reviewed by the accreditation decision team, the PGLA Executive Committee. Finally, in step five, the final accreditation process, the assessment material is provided to PJLA's executive committee to issue the final approval on your accreditation. Upon approval, a final certificate is drafted and sent to you for review. Once you approve your certificate and ensure all financial obligations are clear, you will receive your final certificate. You will also be provided the PJLA logo artwork and the option to utilize the ILAC MRA symbol these are great for marketing your accreditation on websites, brochures, and reports. We hope this walkthrough of the accreditation process has been informative. For further resources and guidance, feel free to explore our website or social media. We're here to support you every step of the way. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to assisting you on your journey to accreditation excellence.